Being a man used to be simpler. You guard the cave. Provide sustenance. Honor thy name. A handshake sealed the deal. And a word was a promise. Today, things are a bit more complicated. We try to impress people we don't know by acquiring things we don't need. We have friends' lists, but few real friendships. Things like integrity and kindness have fallen by the wayside. How can we know if we measure up when the scale is constantly changing? The Freemasons believe that a man's job is to be the best version of himself possible. To pursue truth and self-discovery. To give more and take less. We connect with our fellow man so that we may learn from each other. To challenge one another to live up to our highest ideals. We believe a man should be judged by his strength of character, his willingness to make sacrifices to improve both himself and the lives of those around him. For hundreds of years, the Freemasons have helped men find more meaning to make connections with other men in a way that truly matters. For those seeking a deeper sense of purpose, a chance to make lasting friendships, reach higher, to find more. My name is Vince, Vince Pagori, and I've been a Mason for five years. When somebody might ask me, why is Masonry relevant today? I would ask them, why is it relevant for you to have a conversation with your older or younger brother? What, what would you talk about? Is that valuable today? Was it valuable 100 years ago? Is it going to be valuable 500 years from now? Of course. And whether it's, I need 20 bucks for gas money, or, you know, uh, you know, Sue and I just broke up, I don't really know how to deal with it. Uh, you know, you have a relationship with your brother. And I have um, an older brother who's 18 years older than me. And he was a Mason. So I decided to follow in his footsteps. There was a brother in between us and he passed away the year I was born and I never got a chance to meet him. And so we have a very special bond, my oldest brother and I. And through masonry, I have always felt growing up like I missed out on, on some brotherhood, on that camaraderie. And I've discovered that through this fraternity in a very powerful, intrinsic way. I'm 23, I joined when I was 18. And naturally at my age, I'm a year out of college, um, there's questions I can ask people who are decades older than me. What do you look for when you're settling down? When you're gonna get married, what are the qualities you looked for? How did it happen? Um, should I rent or should I buy? Should I start paying my own mortgage or pay somebody else's? Um, my car's over 100,000 miles. What do you think I should do? You know, give me a suggestion. There's a lot of things you go through financially, um, personally, at a young age that it's invaluable to have older friends and brothers in the fraternity that you can reach out to to get that life advice that you need. And that's just another way we contribute to helping each other. It's not always financial, it can just be um, just a regular conversation, but um, it sets you on a trajectory down a better path. When we're laying on our deathbed, you're not going to worry about how much money you had, how much power you had, how much prestige. You're going to see that that was all game, that that was all an illusion. The only thing that's going to matter is the impact you had on other people's lives. We are all on a separate journey. But the beautiful thing about my life here on this earth is that my funeral they won't talk about my success. They'll talk about who I was and how I lived and how 
I loved and encouraged. For the last three centuries, our craft has helped us and our brothers before us develop from who we were to who we are now. As Masons, we honor and value meaningful relationships with our families, with our brothers, and with our communities. We are needed to bring relief to those most vulnerable in our society. We are needed to bring hope to those with fewer opportunities than ourselves. We are needed to bring light to a new generation. We are Masons, and we are always here when people need us, because we believe it is our responsibility to help make this world a better place. We live these values by helping those in need. And now in this modern world, we're needed more than ever. When you were born, you cried while the world rejoiced. Live your life in such a way that when you die, the world cries while you rejoice.